Hey everyone, my name is Nathan. I'm the Product Operations Manager at Revenue.io, and today I'm excited to show you one of our most popular features, which is how to shadow calls in the Ring DNA Dialer. Um, this is a feature that's for everyone. If you're a seasoned sales leader and you wanna make sure that your team is communicating the value of your product successfully, or if you're a person who's just starting out in their sales career and you wanna learn what it is that the vets on your team do so well to close deals. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So here I am, uh, I'm in the Ring DNA dialer. And the first thing I wanna do before I can start shadowing calls is I wanna make sure that I'm on a team. I wanna make sure that I'm a supervisor or I wanna make sure that I have the listen in permission enabled. All three of those things can be done in the admin console. Uh, just reach out to your Ring DNA admin to get you set up. So the first thing I wanna do before I start shadowing calls is if I click team, what this will do is it will show me all of the users who are on a team that I'm a part of. And if you're on multiple teams, one thing that's really helpful to kind of clear out some of the noise here is if you go to the team filter, I can filter to a specific team if I want to shadow just one team's calls. So now while I clicked SDR team, I'm just seeing users on the SDR. If I want to drill down even further and only look at users who have a certain status, what I can do is if I click on the status filter, I can filter just to one of those statuses. I'll leave it as all for right now. So in order to listen to a call, what I'm going to do is look for someone who has a listen button next to their name. That means that they're on a call. So I see one right here, there's Dave. And when I click listen, what's gonna happen is the Ring DNA dialer is just going to automatically route me into that call. But you'll notice that I'm on mute. That's because when I get routed in and if I start talking or some noise occurs in the background, the person on the other end isn't gonna hear anything. However, if I do want to participate in the call, what I can do is I can click this unmute button and now I'm no longer muted and the person on the other end can hear what I'm saying. This is really, really good if you need to step in to do some coaching or if you need to de-escalate a call. I'll click mute to mute myself. And then when I'm done, I can hit disconnect. If you wanna leave a note, let's say that someone crushed it and you wanna tell them, just click on note. And you can write, you did a great job. Save it. And now Dave will get an email saying, hey, Nathan left a note, says you did a great job. Perfect. I'm going to leave this call by clicking disconnect. Now you'll notice that users who aren't on a call have this monitor button next to them. What monitor does is if I click it, what RingDNA is going to do is the next time Ryan is on a call, I'll get an alert and be automatically bridged into Ryan's calls. So this is really good because I can, I don't need to constantly monitor Ryan. RingDNA is gonna do it for me so I can, uh, I don't know, let's say I have some appointments coming up or let's say I need to do some other work. I can just kind of leave this running in the background and when it's time to monitor Ryan or and join a call for him, I'll automatically get bridged in. So that's how you can shadow calls in Ring DNA. Um, these features are game changers for managers uh, who want to give their reps coaching in the moment. They can use that unmute button to do that. And in, like we said, it's also great for seasoned reps uh, who want to make sure that their team is actually communicating with their customers in the right way. If you have any other questions or want to learn more, visit our support site at support.revenue.io. Thanks a lot. Thank you.